about the First World War, what tends to be taught in schools, what you see on the telly, what you see on the internet, tends to be trenches in France. And that's sort of the main story of the war. And of course, that's a really important story of the war. But one of the interesting things about the First World War is it's the first, what um, historians call, the first total war, which affected everybody. So it wasn't just a small professional army who went off. It was a <coughs> mass conscription war that affected nearly every nation in the world. And the home front was a, as affected in many ways as the men who went off to fight. So one of the things that we want to achieve with this is to think about how it affected different people. Not just the soldiers who went and many of whom died, but often their families, people who worked in factories, people who worked in hospitals looking after the wounded, people who stayed in Leeds and went to the cinema or the theatre, you know, what children did, what older people did, because it was a war that touched everybody. And that's perhaps something that isn't as well known about the war. And there's lots of interesting stories. So the, the, the strand of this that I'm going to be leading is about Belgian refugees, of whom there are thousands who came to Leeds during the First World War and um, who had lots of interesting relationships with Leeds citizens, some good, some bad. Um, and that's one of the things I think that would be interesting to find out about. So, um, that's it for now really, I think. That's me. Uh, if anybody's got any more general questions, do feel free to get in touch with me or with Anna, who's my fantastic project officer and is going to be working full time on this project. Thanks, Alison. Um, you will have an opportunity to ask questions and stuff like that as, as we go. I kind of want to try and get through everything and then we've got time for lunch, over lunch to ask questions and things like that. So, um, what we're going to do now is, as Alison mentioned, um, the Lead Stories project is made up of lots of different topics and you'll see on your tables that there are, that there's a something sticking off it that tells you kind of the topic-ish of uh, one of the different pro media projects. Um, so uh, this is your first opportunity to uh, stand up and start doing something. Um, so you've got an activity to do, um, and you can kind of do it individually or you can do it in groups. And the point of this is so that you can get to grips with the other mini projects that isn't your one, because most of you will be affiliated to one particular topic. Um, but I, it would be really useful and interesting for you to find out what the other topics are doing and what they're kind of interested in. Um, so. Um, as I said, on, you'll, have a, you'll find a topic stuck to the table, and then you'll find lots of kind of bump on the table. So there's pictures, there's statements, and there are questions, um, and they are all mixed up. So um, collectively, uh, your task in the next kind of 10 to 15 minutes is to find the things that you think match up with the topics on each table. Okay, and if you want as well, you can also create new ones. You'll find that there's some blank paper, A3 and A4 on your table, and plenty of coloured pens. So if there's something that when you see the name of that topic you're, you, you think of and it's really important and I haven't created something for it, 